Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Lightroom Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about what happens when you're using the masking tool and you realize there's no vibrant slider. Here we are in Lightroom Classics Develop Module, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a select subject. We're going to add a mask here. We're going to go create new mask and we're going to choose select subject. All right, that selects her. Now, if I wanted to make her her yellow uh, shirt, you know, brighter and maybe warm up her skin a little bit, you could go down here to, well, wait a minute, where's vibrance? There's just saturation. There's only one slider. Now we get vibrance, which is kind of smart saturation. Every time when we're in the develop module, why is it gone here? Well, here's the tip. The tip is if you drag this slider called saturation, if you drag it to the right, it actually uses the vibrance algorithm. So you can see her, her shirt is getting brighter and her face is getting a little warmer, but it's still using that mathematical algorithm to protect her face from getting looking like it's sunburned or anything, right? But if you drag to the left with this slider, right? If you go this way, then it uses saturation. So to the right is vibrance and to the left is saturation. It's one slider, but you still get to use the smart uh, smart option. And here's, you can see the difference. Here's before and here's after. I'm toggling this little eye icon over here so you can see. So the good news is vibrance is there. You just kind of don't see it because it's all on one slider, but you still get the functionality. Well, thanks for watching this Lightroom Tip Tuesday.